Hey yo everybody, Project Charles here, and in this video we're going to enter the world of Franbo, an indie horror game that's point and click and isn't Five Nights at Freddy's. So, without further ado, let's begin. This game uses autosave. Lovely. I like autosave. Autosave is safe. Everything's fine. This is a very scary game, by the way. It feels like heaven. It's gotten a lot of really good reviews. That's why I'm playing it. I see my parents. Hmm, they look happy. Yes, I really like the art array. They have a present for me, I wonder. I do believe this game has been in the making for like a year now, so... This, the effort really shows. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. Oh, you would never think. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. That's so cute. Cute little kitty, my only friend. It's got a love heart. Oh my gosh. I love that noir style where the red clashes with the black and white. We are having dinner and I see aunt too. I really like her a lot. Ooh, it's Friday. My parents are going out. Hmm, this seems a bit ominous. <laughs> the cat's at the table. How cute. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. <laughs> Check out the kitty. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Okay, gotta stop. It's Monday night and I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels really bad. That escalated quickly. A creature right outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. <laughs> so does it do to me too? Can I speak? Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. Okay. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Don't go too close. And closer. Oh no, mom? Dad? What? Please, why is she crying blood? <gasps> Mommy. Daddy. Oh my goodness. That's despicable. Why is the house bleeding? Oh goodness, she tripped over and the cat, the cat is hugging her, her bottom. That was terrible though. The cat is taking vengeance. Mr. Midnight. No, don't abandon her. She loved you. Who are these people? Oh no, we're getting taken away by the Illuminati. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Ooh, this art style, I really like it. It reminds me of Angela Anaconda. I know, like, that's an ancient TV show that probably no one knows, but hey, that's a thing. I'm fine, I guess. Oh, I feel like dying. After just seeing my parents getting dismembered, I think I feel like dying. Oh, do I have to press A or B? No. I thought this was a... Whoops. Okay. I feel like dying. Okay, quick. Okay. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better. I promise. Psychologist. Like, does he not understand what I just, I'm, I'm assuming she told him this stuff. Better? Then let me go. That would be better. That should not tell me. You should not tell me how to do my job. Excuse me? But now I have something for you, Fran. Okay, what is it? What? What is it? What is it, psychologist dude? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Take it, Angela Anaconda. 
This was my mother's purse. She left me money. Open it. There's something inside. Is it money? Is it money? Lost and found. Okay, it's not money. What is it? Examine. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remember that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. Odd hobby you have there, Fran. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and keep and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace. Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. No more medicine, man. I don't want to try more medicine. It's not helping. It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. What? Duotine? That doesn't sound very child-friendly. New today? No. Nothing, really. Same visions as before. Oh, routine. Like... <laughs> the drastic horror that occurred in my life has become the routine part of these people's lives. Take your medicine, Fran. Guess I better take it. Can I put it in my purse? Oh no, she just... Okay, just gulped the pill straight away. That's cool. Can I walk around now? I don't feel good. Of course you don't. You just took a horse pill. Or a psychotic... Oh no, take her back to her room. Oh. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. You idiot, you prescribed this to me. Ah. Oh. The stupidity. I will forgive him this once. Beware, Franbo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Is that catch you? Is that the cow grim reaper or something? <laughs> that is a really long pointy finger. And bring you back to insanity. Blood tear. Mr. Midnight, where have you been? Fran, wake up. Oh, you've been in my dreams, of course. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. What? What is going on? Is that Mr. Midnight talking to me? I love you. <laughs> okay. You know you're going places when the only love of your life is your cat. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Things are heating up. Oh, there's a cross above my bed. How lovely. And there's a clown. Yeah, a clown picture. What if I had chlorophobia? Can I wake up? I'm still here. Hideous place. Why is my brain talking? I have to get out of here. Oh, maybe it's indicating that she's thinking. Okay, let's take a look at this. Frambo, 10. Age 10? She was younger than 10 when she re when she witnessed her... Her parents' dismemberment? Details omitted. Doctor has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. No, da. Are you kidding me? I will get your nose. I will get it. Oh gosh, is she actually crazy? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. You've got to keep in mind that she is a a little girl. She's only 10 years old, so I hope somebody loves you. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Let's read his file. But age 8. Oh, this poor child. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia is not yet diagnosed. Uh, we have not yet achieved the patient's trust as he refused to be questioned. Oh, this is... Hello, Phil. This is actually really sad. A, a children's mental hospital. How are you? How are you? He's paranoid. You just read it on the file. Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. Yeah. How do these people not know, are you leaving tonight, that these children are not just being children? I will if you help me. Will you help me? Come on, you want an adventure. The only thing I, I know is that the office is the key. Oh, thanks for the tip, so I have to go to the office. There's a key inside? The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. 
I'll see if I can find it. Bye. Oh, good. I'll see if I can find it. Okay, yeah. Later, dude. So she got sick of him pretty quick. Rocking horse. 